Good morning investors, my name is Louis from the COSEC research team. Today is Thursday the 24th of February and here is your pre-market wrap. Yesterday the Australian stock market strengthened rising 0.65% to 7,202. While in the US markets ended in the red once again with the Nasdaq leading the losses, falling more than 2% and the S&P 500 falling further into correction territory. The last 10% correction seen in the US's leading index was during the COVID-19 dip, so arguably a correction was in store. When talking about rate hikes using the bond market, the street now sees six 25 basis point hikes, down from seven seen on February 11. In Europe, the stock 600 fell 0.26% overnight as Russian President Vladimir Putin sends peacekeepers into Ukraine. Tensions are brewing, but there have been few major developments overnight. Further, the Bank of England has announced it will be selling 1.26 trillion in government bonds as the bank continues to normalize policy. While in Asia, equities have fallen for a third straight day with the MISCI Asia Pacific Index down 2.1% to a new three-week low. Moving to commodities, iron ore strengthens slightly overnight, currently trading at 141 per tonne, while both gold and oil held steady. And to currencies, the Australian dollar continues to rebound from its January lows last night. It's up to 72.3 US cents, while both oil and gold, as I mentioned, were flat, and Bitcoin and Ethereum were also flat in quite a muted evening in currencies and commodities. Finally for this morning, the SPY futures are 1.25% lower here domestically at 7,029. This market wrap has been brought to you by Kosek, Kadari Securities.